Hey y'all, Dennis here, Muddy Water Search and Recovery, and I just wanted to get some updates on different things. Um, first off, tomorrow evening, our next video on the Alex Van Dousen case is going to be released, and just a just to let you know what it'll be is we're going to talk about the city police reports, incident reports and different ones of those, and we'll discuss some of that. Um, don't forget, Saturday evening, this Saturday evening, 8.30 p.m. Central, we will be doing a live feed solely on the Alex Van Dousen case, to where we hope to work with you on this live feed to see if we can reach a final conclusion on if this is suicide or not. And you will be able... To to communicate back and forth with us either through the comments on the live feed or this go around at some point during the live feed uh, we'll open up I'll put my cell phone number in the comments and um, you guys will have the option of calling up calling me I will put it on speakerphone and we can share that whole conversation with the rest of the viewers and that will be this Saturday evening 8 30 p.m. Central Megan and Chrissy will both be with me live on that video. We also have our next Alonzo Brooks video that is going to be released this Sunday. There will be a few more case layout videos for new cases. Um, this is going to include the Joey Traver case. For those of you who are not familiar with that case. Uh, Joey lives in Mississippi. He was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. He was last seen at a bar there in Tulsa. Has not been seen or heard from since. And he did not have a vehicle with him. It's believed he was using Uber, Lyft, or Greyhound bus. Um, me personally, I believe if he was using public transportation, law enforcement could have already have tracked that. So I am interested to see if maybe he went with somebody else by chance on this trip. But we will be digging into this case. Uh, the up or the case layout will be one of the case layouts we'll be doing over the next few days. Summer Wells, we will be doing in two update videos on this one. One of these will basically we'll discuss the Dr. Phil episodes. Those of you following that case know that the first episode aired this afternoon on Dr. Phil, where two body language experts sat down and talked with Summer's mom and dad and tried to read their body language. I do believe there was a lot learned from today's episode. Tomorrow's episode is when they are actually on the stage with Dr. Phil. This one is going to get interesting. I don't know if I don't know if Candace will stay there at one point during Today's episode, she took the mic off, she got up, she walked out. So it's going to be interesting to see. They're on Dr. Phil hoping to find answers of where Summer is, as well as clear their names. My opinion, that did not go well today, but we will see how tomorrow's goes. Hopefully... They can work together and get some answers that may lead to summer. But we will do that update tomorrow afternoon. And then we have another episode on Summer Wells that will be released likely on Sunday. Where I don't want to get too far into that one right now. But there is something that come up that we will be digging into and then sharing with you likely this Sunday at the latest, possibly Saturday. 
We do have a few other cases that we will be doing update videos on. Guys, the next few days there will be several videos dropping on here. I apologize for dropping so many at once or that's what it's going to seem like the next few days starting tomorrow evening so i apologize in advance for that but we feel we need to get all of that out uh, and those of you who have been following with us for a while um you know i work a full-time job monday through friday i get off at 3 30 p.m so that kind of narrows time down between spending time with the family and working on the cases However, I can honestly say cases like Randy Leach, Alex Van Dalsen, Alonzo Brooks, uh, several of these cases actually get worked on every day. And the other cases, there's not two or three days go by that we had, we're not digging into them. So we've been able to keep digging into every case that we have as well. But in that process, that means there will be a video dump over this weekend, and we apologize for that there. One of the case updates, and this one we're still considering not so much as if we should do this update, but how we should do it. But fingers crossed by Sunday evening, we will be doing another video on the Randy Leach case to where we might be going to dig into something that many of you haven't been aware of, so to speak. I can tell you right now, we're still not going to release all the information on the lead that we've been working on. But there may be some things that we are going to go ahead and share with you guys on that case. It's one of them, should we, should we not, is this the time? But, you know... Enough time has gone by that something needs to be done and our hands have been tied in one area, but they are not tied in other areas. So tomorrow Chrissy will be here and me and Megan and we're going to sit down and fully discuss how I want to do this and we will... I'll go ahead and tell you, we will do the Randy Leach video, and it will air by this Sunday evening. Um, I will try to give you a little bit of a heads up when we get it uploaded and uploaded on YouTube, but I can tell you, you this is one video you do not want to miss out on. It's But anyway... Sunday evening, 7.30 p.m., we will be doing our normal live feed. This is where we chat back and forth, answer any questions you may have, um, discuss any of the cases that you want to bring up, and, and normally we have a pretty good time with this. Uh, we absolutely love chatting back and forth with you guys. I will be sharing the missing persons flyers now, not only on our Facebook page, but on the community page on this Facebook channel or YouTube channel. And I've got a few of them on there right now. But we will all be working to get all of those flyers moved over onto there. If, if that blows up your notifications, I apologize. But... This is going to give you a better look at the person that's missing as well as basic information on a case layout. And it's one of the easiest ways I've got right now that I can get that to you that you can see. 
And I've got my notes here, so I'm trying to read through my notes too. Um, our new podcast channel. Um, I announced it the other day. On this podcast channel, we will be discussing things that are search and recovery related, that are case related, but we're also going to be sharing different things like hunting and fishing adventures. Uh, We're going to have guest speakers on there covering all these topics as well. And if any of you want to join us on one of our podcast episodes that could actually be done over your cell phone. It's all audio. And just contact me. Let me know what you want to discuss. And we will get that set up and bring you on to one of our podcast episodes with us. And I look forward to possibly having several of you joining us on some episodes. And then Megan with Crooked Trail Designs. She has worked so hard on our t-shirts plus everything else that she makes. Um, She announced it just the other night as well. But she is going to be doing a Black Friday sale this year to where everything on the website will be anywhere from 50 to 75% off. Some of them may have even a bigger discount than that. So she will be doing a video very soon that um, she's going to upload here on the channel and go over a lot of the merchandise and kind of what the pricing is going to be on different things. So I don't want to misspeak on this. Um, Crooked Trail Designs is her thing. So I'll wait and let her do her video and get that shared with you guys. And again, if, if you know of a case of a missing person that you would like us to take a look at, Please contact us. Let us know. If you want... And here's an... I was going to announce this later on, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Um, If you would like to join us as far as digging into these cases, uh, possibly even joining us on here... But being a part, being more of a part of this, a more hands-on part of this, um, let me know, and we we can go over the details of that and everything, and just just help this grow, and give us even more tools in our arsenal to be able to help more families out there find their loved ones, find the answers they are looking for. So with that, I am going to go ahead and wrap this up so till next time you guys stay safe and let's bring some of these people home